So many chefs in the country today wouldn't be doing what they were doing if it wasn't for him. He just opened the highway for a lot of us. He transformed a generation of chefs. And he transformed modern French cooking in America. There's no doubt about it. I remember admiring his magnitude as a chef. Here, here to Jean-Louis. He was a rock star. He was the guy from France who went to America and became Mick Jagger. He was a maverick, an artist, and a madman. He went after and searched for the best products that you could get. Everybody talks about farm to table right now. Jesus Christ, farm to table. It was not even farm to table, it was France to the US. At that time, it was something completely new. Just pushed the envelope every day. It was like, let's go, let's do this. Oh, better, 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 better. He was doing stuff that was experimental, but he was also doing things that were rooted in the foundations of French cooking. From being 28, being the youngest chef in France, getting two Michelin stars was pretty amazing. I decided in advance tonight that I wouldn't share anything off color in my recollections of Jean-Louis. Therefore, my remarks will be brief. <laughs> oh, he was wild. <laughs> he was wild. He just was so entertaining. You know, his personality was bigger than himself, you know? He has this charisma around him, you know? When you see him, he will attract people. We used to joke that the longer he lived here, the thicker his French accent became. This is Jean-Louis Paladin. My wife brought your bread. I want it for my restaurant. That was the best strawberries and vanilla ice cream I've had in a long time. The evening's menu was composed at the last minute, handwritten by Jean-Louis in a genuinely indecipherable script. <laughs> Guests admired him and chefs loved him. He was always fearless, fearless about the future, fearless about what he was going to put on a plate. The essence of Jean-Louis fills your belly, but it fuels your heart. There was only one Jean-Louis.